Thank you for joining us for another video of Battle Grid Trading Card Game. My name is Kenneth. I'm the founder and creator of Battle Grid Trading Card Game. And today we're going to go over some basic mechanics. Specifically, we're going to go over Binding Mask. I've been getting a lot of questions regarding Binding Mask, um, the card's ability, uh, syntax on the card, and some clarification on certain situations on the Battle Grid. Um, so as you can see here, um, I have a battle state already set up. Um, I have a, some curious formations going on. Uh, Majestic is playing on my far side, and I'm going to be playing as Enlightened. And so as you can see, just to, to kind of clarify the, the battle state, um, Enlightened has taken over the boss tile, right? Uh, Paladins of Judgment is on the boss, boss tile. And you can see that my opponent um, is taking up a defensive posture with two minions, including uh, one on his uh, plus one draw tile. And he's done something pretty crazy, um, pretty ruthless. He's played Binding Mask, the card that everybody fears. Binding Mask on no other than my own plus one draw tile. So let's dig right into it. Let's read what Binding Mask says. Um, Binding Mask is a tricky card because it has a few clauses in it, and we're going to kind of dissect it now. So Binding Mask may be placed on any grid tile. So guys, just how it sounds, Binding Mask can be played from your hand onto any grid tile, rather or not you have an adjacent asset. Okay, it's very important I say that. When Binding Mask comes onto the battle grid, your opponent freezes one asset they control. So battle grid is going to come on. I have to now freeze one asset I control. Now, this is very important. A lot of people, what they're going to do is assume that they have to freeze something on the battle grid, right? So let's look at my current grid state again. Paladins of Judgment is on the boss tile. Uh, Paladins of Judgment Heroes abilities preventing all spells and champion abilities from being played. So I'm playing Majestic. That's a huge asset right now, denying my opponent's spells. I want to keep that. That's, an, that's, that's a great asset to me. Um, Heart of Valen is also buffing up Paladins of Judgment and also giving me some pretty good buff to my surrounding assets. I really don't want to get rid of that. Here's the thing. Getting rid of any asset I control on the battle grid is giving my opponent the advantage. Them denying my, Him denying me real estate, that's why he's playing Binding Mask. He wants to restrict my access to the, to, to the battle grid so that way he can progress. Um, is a bad idea. So here's one thing that not a lot of people know of, right? Um, but if you read in the rule book, I think it's page 13, under Freeze and Frozen, there's another way you can freeze assets, right? You can freeze assets in your hand, right? So it's not just the battle grid. You can freeze any combination of assets in your hand or on the battle grid, okay? So let's look at my hand. I got a hero shield, I have an enlightened prodigy, I have a reviving angel, an ancient serum, a valen fallen angel, and I have an enlightened prodigy. My hand's actually pretty good to get me through the scenario. I just got to get past the restrictions of binding mask. I don't want to, like I said earlier, I don't want to destroy my current grid presence. So instead, I think the number one card that is really useless to me right now, um, honestly, is um, Valen Fallen Angel, right? Um, I can still play him through um, a Valen Archangel through his ability, even if he's frozen. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze him. Look at that. I just got rid of a card that was just sitting in my hand. He probably would have been played as a challenger anyway, to be honest. Um, and I did not sacrifice any of my grid presence. Okay, very important. Let's read on to the second part, the continuous part of Binding Mask. Continuous. All adjacent heroes become two battle stat. Two battle stat basically means uh, two, 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 two. All four sides are even. We call it two battle stat for short. Um, all adjacent enlightened heroes become one battle stat instead. Okay, and then all minions become one battle stat. Let me rephrase that. That last clause, all minions become one battle stat. Guys, this card does not require a minion to be adjacent to it for it to become one battle stat. 
right? So he just hindered his own minions down here over in his defensive area. They're now one battle stat, okay? Because you could tell before the clause there's a period, and then all minions become one battle stat. Binding Mask is a very powerful card, and it doesn't just restrict assets around it. It restricts assets on the, a global phase as well. Now, here's one thing that, uh, here's one battle asset that Binding Mask does not restrict. Can you guess it? Challengers, right? So now Challengers become the king of the battle grid. Okay, so if I play um, a Challenger, and guys, a Challenger is any card face down, um, if you look at our cool design of the uh, the card back, it's actually built in as a three battle stat because you could play it face down as a challenger in case all else fails. Maybe you don't have a card in your hand. Maybe you have a great card and it's going to flip into a fantastic surprise for your element, for for your um, element of surprise for your opponent. There's a lot of different strategic ways that you could take this, but keep in mind when binding mask hits the battle grid. Start going into your challengers. Challengers are obviously going to beat minions at one battle stat. They're obviously going to beat all the heroes that surrounding it at at twelve battle at two battle stat, right? Um, otherwise, you want to play heroes away from binding mask. Okay, you want to try to avoid it. But in this case, binding mask is in my side of the battle grid, and it's a parasite. I don't want to avoid that. I want to get rid of it as soon as possible so I can regain control of my side of the battle grid. I hope this explains a lot. Um, again, I've been getting a lot of questions for this card, a lot of great questions. Um, Binding Mask is a super efficient card for the Majestic. It's a card that locks down the battle grid, and it's a card that slowly allows the Majestic to creep up and take the win. Keep your questions coming. I'm loving all those questions and the feedback for the game. We have a lot of surprises coming up very soon. Until next time, until my next video, keep playing, guys.